Hey everyone, let's play some games today. I'm playing uh, a control paladin. I was playing the secret paladin, but I kept making some changes to it, and in the end, it turned out to be a control paladin instead. And it has actually been going a little better after I made those changes, so I think this is the better deck. Hmm, looking for some early minions, even though I do love the truth of a champion. I think I would have kept it if we had the coin, but we need something for before turn 4 here. Okay, so now we got a haunted creeper that helps a bit. Even though I wouldn't mind drawing back into the weapon or the consecrate. I'd certainly make an argument for keeping either of those. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Not a happy sight. Let's play a hundred people here. Not much choice. I mean, we could hero power, but I do think this is the better play. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not a scientist? Uh, hmm. Alright, so we got the weapon back. Uh, so how do we do this? I guess... I wish you could kill both of them this turn. What if we don't kill either and then try and kill both next turn? But that... she could stop us from doing that. She could kill one with fire blast, kill the other one with that one. Yeah. Well, no, we can do it. At the same time... I just... Not so happy about all of this. Like, this doesn't... Ah, oh, you know what, let's just do it this way. And she might even... Ah, right. It's not even mere entity, so it wouldn't have helped because it looks like she's running both something like counter spell and mirror entity. It might not even be a mech mage, it might actually be a freeze mage. Yeah. Alright, so the whole other idea wouldn't even have worked. Uh, I don't really like anything so much here. I guess I think I guess there's hero power is best, huh? Yeah. I think so. Let's do that. Duplicate. <laughs> Looks like an all-out uh, secret mage, maybe. We do have the Humility Stampeding Kodo in hand, which I like. Yeah, of course. So many secrets. Yeah. So... Are we gonna play the Stampeding Kodo here? She has... Uh, I guess it's not... She doesn't have Mirror Entity up, so... You're not gonna get the Kodo copy. Um, maybe... Maybe save it, because we do have the Humility to combo with it for like a bigger minion? Hmm. And then play Truth of a Champion here, but... That's not very mana efficient. Let's just play this one. And, uh... we kill that? Or do we go for the face? I think we go for the face, yeah. I should have attacked with the 1-1 first. Just in case she had Vaporize. Kind of unlikely, but... Could happen. Looks like she has a bunch of secrets. Maybe, maybe I should have killed it, because that would have been a chance that... Well... Okay. <laughs> well, now she pretty much has everything. I mean, you gotta assume that she has a... Mirror Entity up by now. It looks pretty similar to the Secret Mage deck that I used to run. Alright. Well, let's look at it. Um, which minion do we want to give her? 
Do I want to give her a haunted creeper? Play. If we play this, we can clear the board with the two silver champion. Alright. So if we do. Something like. Which minion? I probably don't want to give her another one. But I don't really want to give her shield butts either. Both minions are annoying. But this one probably has synergy with her deck. So. Let's do that. Okay, no more duplicate. So, I guess. She must have counter spell up. She must have it up. And she does not have mirror entity up anymore. We gotta keep track of all these secrets. So, then what's the other one? I guess it could be like some random ice block. Could of course also be... Um, uh, I forgot what it's called. Um, anyway, so we can't really play Humility if she has Counter Spell, which is unfortunate since I would really like to kill that Water Elemental. Could play Sylvanas here, that might be alright. Yeah. I think we... Ah, but then at the same time, we're probably gonna kill this one. So, then she only has that one option and she could get rid of Sylvanas rather easily anyway. Um... Let me think. Right, so let's just play some other stuff. And then we will... Kill that. hope she does not have a flame strike since anything can happen in this deck it's not a meta deck so can't really say what to expect okay well it's not a flame strike i really wish you could play this humility <laughs> i mean it's almost worth a try isn't it no um yeah but i'm j i like it it got to be counter spell or spell benta it doesn't make any sense for anything else. And I'm not even sure it could be anything else. So, probably a Sylvanas is better. Yeah. Sylvanas. And it would be funny if I could get the bombs to kill her this turn, but <laughs> that would be pretty lucky. Um, right, let's do this first. Oh, okay. Let's see if the other bomb Weapon is gonna ready. hit. Weapon ready. Uh, then the... Oh, maybe we should get rid of that water elemental because I hate water elementals. Then... Yeah, okay. Let's do that. And, I mean, we risk stealing a bomb like this, but now we got rid of the ward elemental. I'm happy about that, since they're really annoying. Let's see. And she might as well have like a polymorph or something, so Sylvanas, for Sylvanas, it's not really very reliable in this spot. She only has 10 cards left. <laughs> we have 19. Oh, it's all those mad scientists that drew so many secrets from her deck. Okay. What else? Like hoping to get a silence from the unstable portal or something? Is that it? Mm. No polymorph, please. Oh, okay. So she doesn't have a polymorph, she just hopes that I steal one of those little ones. I've got the beast in eh. I guess that's alright. Hmm. So we still we gotta remember, she still probably has a counter spell. But we have two spells in hand now, so we could play a spell if we want to. By using two of them. Hmm. I think I want to play Stampeding Kodo and then kill the big game hunter. 
and just hero power. Okay. She's running low on cards. Eventually she's gonna run out if we can just keep going here. And I'm happy that we have some spells, so if I wanna use a spell I actually can. Unless she has spell binder and counter spell. Then that could go wrong. Huh. Didn't think about that, right? Because then if I play humility, then it goes on the spellbender, and then consecration would be counterspelled. Huh. Now there's another secret. That's probably another. Ah. Another mirror entity. I don't really want to give her any minions. I don't want to play the Quartermaster here because I want to use it together with some guys. I guess I could play one guy and then the Quartermaster, but it's not super appealing. But maybe just play. Sludge Bilge and Lofab go for Consecration next turn, but then we run into that issue that maybe she has Spellbender and Counterspell. Let me think. I have my Quartermaster, but I still have two... Yeah, I think it's too valuable to use. Ah, oh, you know what, let's just play this then. Hmm. Alright. At least you can't really do many spells this turn. She can play one spell if she wants. And she might even, like a fireball on low or something like that. Huh. It could be ice block and counter spell. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, interesting. Fireball on that one. Huh. Oh, Shock Saw. Well, good thing we got the Mirror Entity out of the way. I guess we just run that into that, play Shock Saw and Hero Power. She can kill Shock Saw. Yeah. But I still think it's the best move. Like, Consecration would be nice if I could... I don't even have anything to play with Consecration. I think we just play this one. At least it forces her to trade. Hmm. That was secret. Seven cards, six team. Just need to outlast her. What a weird game. Yeah, she's gonna run everything into that. Which makes perfect sense. Alright. Another one of those. Elder Peacekeeper. Ah, good if you had a Kodo. Where are our master? Where is it? I guess we do that and then hero power and then quartermaster. And then do we go for the face? Yeah, I think so. I don't think there's much point in attacking the wall elemental and just get frozen. I mean, not in. Yeah, I guess this makes the most sense. Solanas. We have many secrets. Now you don't have so many secrets left in the deck, I, I bet. Ah, so that's the weapon just when we are frozen. Perfect, right? Okay, so I think we gotta kill... Can we get the Consecration off this turn? If we run these... Run that... Indeed. Consecration doesn't really help much here. 
I just I wish we could kill that water elemental as well as. Well, maybe kill. Then we can use the weapon next turn, but then we can't use these two, they'll be frozen. I could use them maybe. We need to use our weapon though. Okay, you know what? Let's let's go for this. Um Okay. Not really pleased with the situation here. Okay, I think now it's gonna be the turn where we try and get a consecration out. Oh boy. Like, are we just dead here? I think we might be. Consecration doesn't. We can't. Oh, well, we can attack with the weapon, but. I think we're dead, right? I guess we can try that. Alright, so that's counter spell. So I guess the other one is uh, ice block. I guess it is. And we just toast. I think do consecration and uh, For then she has third. Yeah, such a close game, but. We didn't make it. She has five cards left in the deck. Alright. Well, let's try another gun and hopefully it'll go a little better. Yeah. Well, let's see. <laughs> that was I mean that was the worst start with all those mad scientists everywhere. But at least it was interesting. Let's see what we get. Alright, another mage. Gotta check. Is it the same mage? No, it's a different one. Okay, so... Huh. Hmm. Now, let's look for something else. Let's look for two drops, weapons, consecration. We have the coin. Alright, so we could get a turn 3 Consecration, potentially. Or if we had two 2 drops, we could play 1 on turn 1. Oh, we do have two 2 drops. Oh. The issue, of course, is that none of them deal with something like a Mechwalva, and we don't have a 3 drop. So I think we end turn here. If we had a 3 drop, I probably would have coined out a 2 drop, but we don't. Oh. That's... That's, is it another mage who is another mech mage? I mean, this is so different. Let's play a shield bot here. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Fire blast. That's fine. Then I guess no point in coining out anything here. I'll just play the haunted creeper then. And next turn we can play a Stampede in Kodo if it's appropriate, or otherwise we'll just play a Sludge Belcher. Looks like it's gonna be a Sludge Belcher. And this is actually not bad at all, because it's pretty common that out of a piloted shredder, some two attack minion spawns, and then we can kill it with a Kodo. And we have a Humility also. To combo with a Kodo here. Huh. Well. Hmm. What do we do here? Not so happy about that sludge spell. Should we could open it up, then play a stampeding Kodo to kill the leftover taunt? I guess that's the best move, right? Could also just play Humility plus Piloted Shredder, but. 
That might be okay, actually. Mm, I kind of want to keep it, though. Alright, let's just do this. Then this. And at least this Belcher still trades with the Shredder here. And you have another Kodo, so it's all good. Alright. Oh, it looks like a different kind of mech mage that's going for more expensive mechs rather than all the cheap ones. Hmm, more girl. Well, if you trade this way, then you could humility on this one, then Kodo. You know what? I think I like that. I'm gonna get a much better target than that. So if we do that, and that. See what she gets. Hmm. The thing is... Oh, let's do this. Okay, and then... Kill that one. Go for the face. Eh, that's alright. We have a pretty strong board. She might run Flame Strike though, since... She has a pretty a later... Like... Heavier curve. Gonna counter Dr. Boom with Dr. Boom? Hmm. I think so. And then... I guess we'll just... Tag that and... Let's do this one. I wanted... <laughs> bomb madness, but... I guess that's fine. As long as she doesn't have AoE. That's the real fear here. Like, a flame strike would be so good for her. Normally, Mick Mage doesn't run it, but you don't know, this deck is a little different. Okay, it does not look like she has it. Okay. What do you got for us? Explosive sheep. Alright, it's not flame strike, but it still hurts a little. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, that, that, painful. Just got it down to one life, but not quite there. All right, we're still doing fine, so it's all good. Uh, I guess we play two shredders here, and I want to open that one up because otherwise you can just kill it with fire blast. So let's do that and play two shredders. She's kind of low on life, though. So I could have made an argument for attacking for the face there just to get some more damage in, but... Uh, let's go for board control for now. Oh, Millhouse. Perfect. Oh, there's the flame strike. Alright. So she did have one. Quartermaster, but where is our muster? Maybe next turn. Yeah, this one is just gonna die to Fire Blast, I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately. That's probably how we're gonna trade off our... Oh, Fireball. Maybe not. <laughs> An Elven Archer? Alright, well, there's our Master, so... Pretty simple turn. Just gotta hope she doesn't have another Flame Strike. Yeah. Most people who do run Flamestrike only run with one. And even if she does run with two, she has been through less than half of her deck, so... That belongs in a museum. Oh, that's a lot of cards. But hey, at least there was no AoE. Yet. <laughs> now it's gonna be like Frost or something. No, okay, good. So we have... A lot of damage here. 6, 12, 14, 6... So I think we have lethal. If we do... That... 
Yes, to battle. All right, there we go. Okay, went better than last time. Two games versus non-traditional mages. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.